Okay. Now, the next column has just got some tips on making stem and leaf plots, other things you might encounter. Obviously, for a two digit stem and leaf plot, like we just did, the first digit goes in the stem, the second in the leaf. That's nothing new. With three or more numbers, we put the most consistent data in the stem. Now, you can look at a, a different set of three digit numbers and go, okay, I'm going to put the first number in the stem and the second numbers in the leaf. On the other hand, I might look at it and say, I'm going to put the first two digits in the stem and the last number in the stem. Neither is necessarily wrong. I'm telling you, though, that some are easier to make than the others. You should not have stem and leaf plots that are taking up four whole columns on a page. So if for some reason you're getting really long stem and leaf plots, reconsider your stem. Also, with data of inconsistent length, make them all the same length. Now, what do I mean when I say inconsistent length? I mean, you have a list of two-digit numbers, and all of a sudden there's a couple three-digit numbers. Then something like that happens, even them out. Make the two digit numbers into three digit numbers. Obviously, the best way to do that is stick a zero in front. If that were to happen, that would be your best path, best course of action. Okay, so let's go to example two. Example two, we're supposed to plot the following track times in a stem and leaf plot. It doesn't say ordered or unordered, so we don't have to worry about that. Times are 28.6. Some of you are looking at that set of numbers and saying, oh, okay, that's easy. Everything starts at the two or a three. Yes, you are correct. And that is one way you can go for the stem and leaf plot. It's not going to be a very long list vertically, but you will have a lot of numbers horizontally. Right? I suggest you reconsider. The way I look at this, I say, okay, I see that all the numbers start with 27, 28, 29, or 30. So basically, I'm looking at the numbers in front of the decimal. And that's what I'm going to put in my stem. Again, you could just do two and three, but the list will be longer going this way, horizontally. And it doesn't say anything about ordered, so we don't have to worry about that. So we can go right into making the stem and leaf plot. OK, so I've got 28.6, 28 goes 6, 29.2. Next to the 29 goes a 2. 28.1. Next to the 28 goes a 1. 27.5. Next to the 27 goes a 5. 29.8. Next to the 29 goes an 8. 28.7. Next to the 28 goes a 7. 30.2. Next to the 30 goes the 2. 29.3. Next to the 29 goes the 3. 28, 3, next to 28 goes to 3. 28.9, next to the 28 goes to 9. 29.9, next to 29 goes to 9. 28.4, next to the 28 goes to 4. And again, you do want to include a key here. You can fetch out whatever piece of information you want. I'm going to grab that piece right there and say that 29 bar 2 equals 29.2. 